Hi guys and welcome to the month two reflection. I apologise I've been a little bit behind on this one. I've been pretty busy with work and uh, had a few other minor distractions. Breaking Bad, that show is damn addictive. So let's have a look at month two and see how I went. For the first two weeks, I didn't know to start the exercise from a dead hang position. I found skin the cats to be far more strenuous on my shoulders than back levers due to the extra depth required in lowering your body. Despite this, throughout the weeks you can notice my shoulder flexibility is increasing slightly and I'm turning my arms out more as they should be. Well, I find skin the cats very uncomfortable, which is most likely due to my lack of flexibility in my shoulder joints. Uh, I do, however, find it a really good warm-up. I think it's great uh, to get the blood pumping and whatnot. And uh, what I find is when I get to the back lever exercise, my shoulders are actually a bit more flexible, so it is very good to prepare for that. I struggled a lot in my first week of muscle-ups due to a bad setup which didn't allow sufficient height to conduct the exercise. The technique to the muscle up is really something that comes with practice. Even once you've got it, it is still a really tough exercise. My form here is really quite bad, so if you're struggling with the muscle up, I really suggest you check out the tutorial posted in my month 2 intro video. So muscle ups... Shh. Muscle ups are probably the most difficult exercise we've done so far. Keep at it. I know it's really tough. At first you may not even get from that chin up to dip transition. That's the hardest part. So keep working on it and you'll get there eventually. Just so you know, a little secret, I could actually do muscle ups before I started ring strength. It's just something I really wanted to get. I thought it was a cool skill to have. So I, I did learn it a while ago. But I assure you, if you keep practicing, you'll get it. In my first week of L-sit to plant shoulders, I felt absolutely useless barely being able to get anything near the planche hold position and fatiguing really quickly. Note that in this exercise, my arms should be straight. Even by the third week of L-sit to planche holds, I was still very much in the beginner phase. This is one of those exercises that requires a lot of patience for progression. The alternate exercise, ring flies, seemed to progress quite well, though I did have a bit of a bad habit in bending my arms slightly. Cross holds are quite fun, but place a great amount of strain on your shoulders. So when you first start, don't push yourself too hard. Just lower your body to a position you're comfortable with. One encouraging aspect of cross holds is that you can definitely notice your strength improving over time. You may be able to notice throughout the month that I'm lowering my body further each week. This demonstrates gradual progression. The fastest way to progress with cross holds is to maintain strict and clean form throughout the entire exercise. Whilst it's hard to track progress on leg raises, keep the exercise slow and controlled to get a decent abs workout. I found I progressed quite well with front levers this month. In weeks 1 and 2 I worked on the open ball stage of the front lever hold. By week 3 I felt confident enough to extend one leg out in front of me while keeping the other one tucked. This is the third phase of development. Similarly to front levers, I have progressed to the open ball phase for back levers. I still find back levers tough on my flexibility and have placed a focus on the ring turnout.
Because I didn't have my weight plates prepared for the first few weeks, I once again focused on clean and strict form. For week three, I had to improvise a bit with the weighted pull-ups, but by week four, I made my own kind of weight bill. The same goes for dips, where I didn't have weighted plates until the third week of training. This is my brother Lachlan, founder of the Ring Fraternity, and he's the one who's uh, structured my programs. Finally, we're training together. I'm even looking at the exercises that I've given him and giving him some very small critiques on his form. Once a month, we'll have these reviews, and I'll just make sure that his form is always top notch. So that's it for month two. Keep an eye out for month three because it's coming really soon. Well, I think the ladies down at the pool hall are going to be very impressed.